If dressing this way every day will evoke positive emotions, increase self-esteem, reduce stress, gives the lady a sense of self-control while also boosting her self-image and increasing her productivity to the point of transforming her home, why would a lady choose to dress any other way? I have work to do. It's very difficult to get work done when you have a little one around. Welcome back ladies. Today I am going to be sharing how dressing up can completely transform your home, your life really. It's just, it will transform your life as a whole when you start to do this. And with that whole laundry list that I gave you in the beginning of all of the positive things that it can also change for you, Again, why would a lady choose to dress any other way? Now, mind you, I understand there are dirty jobs out there. There are different things. And I'm not also saying like wear, you know, just your Sunday best every day. But a lot of times if you do dress in more of that lady, like maybe a dress or if you have a dress wardrobe like myself, then you would likely be wearing things that the majority of people would wear on a Sunday, right? But it's just part of the everyday. And I can't tell you how wonderful it is to have a very simplified wardrobe in this regard because it makes choosing an outfit very simple. What I wanted to share with you today, and I have a lot to say, by the way, on this subject, which I have written about in depth in many different many different things that I've had to say. I have shared within my new book, The Lady of the House Inspirations, Volume 1, and Volume 2 may be coming out soon, so keep an ear out for that because I will be sharing once it does. But this is available on Amazon. I love to write about dressing because it is one of those things that I'm very passionate about. And I think that it just impacts our life in so many different ways. 
and sadly it's something that so many ladies have just felt as if it's not one of those important things to do but as you heard me say all of those different things it helps in all of those different ways so why would we not do these little things that we can do to help make us happier and do these different things to increase our mood and all of those things that it would do why would we not do that and it's like one of those little natural ways the natural remedy so to speak to be able to uh, deal with some of these issues that we have with ourselves with our mental state all of that so just dressing up and so many of us ladies love to wear dresses it's one of the most feminine ways to present yourself and so I really do encourage wearing a dress um, but that's not to say that a dress is for every lady either so understand that I'm not saying that you know it's the best thing for every body type or anything like that however I will say that there are ways of you know learning your body type and what dresses different dress styles that would look great with your unique body shape so that's something to look into I love wearing dresses but I'm not familiar with every single body shape and what looks good with what but I have spent many years I have spent many years trying to figure out what would look best on my particular body shape and then guess what we age things change and so it's just a continuous learning experience when it comes to what looks good now I have compiled a list of six different things within the lady of the house life book which shares the lady of the house method and it is part of the everyday routine that you would want to complete on a day-to-day -day basis doing these six things will help you to really transform your home so today's video is the last of all six different episodes that I have shared within this series but it really is one of the first things that I would recommend before doing all of these other things. Not that you can't do it, you know, out of order. And that's something that I've shared before. However, doing that first will really help you in a lot of different ways. So it definitely increases our productivity because we just perform differently when we have on number one, the right attire. Now, some would say that wearing a dress is not conducive to doing, you know, certain housework or this and that. I would say that pretty much all my videos prove that wrong because I do handle all of that in a dress. So we can just disprove all of that. But I understand that not everybody feels comfortable in that. The thing that I would encourage you to do is figure out a length that would be best suited for the kind of activity that you are going to be engaging in every day so we are going to be more productive because we are making sure to dress up every day we are making sure to put in that little bit of time i'm not saying take a long time every day getting yourself ready but a little goes a long way. So a little thought about what it is that you are going to put on your body. And then also maybe, you know, dressing up also includes showering for the day, just being nice and fresh and clean, maybe putting on a little bit of makeup, doing your hair, all of those different things, maybe a little bit of fragrance, whatever it is that you like to do to feel your best, do that every day life is going to just pass us by and we will just forever be waiting for that special day to feel our best does that make sense no it doesn't so let's treat every day as if it is worthy of our best and so we want to put our best foot forward we want to do our best every day we want to present ourselves in a lovely way not only for ourselves but also for those around us it's such a gift to be able to give your best to others 
And this is one of those ways that we can do that. And if this is something that you haven't been doing and you would like to try it out, I challenge you to do this every day. Get yourself up, get yourself refreshed and clean and bright and neat and pretty. Yes, pretty. Start focusing on doing these little things to just help you feel good, then it will change everything. You will want to do a better job with everything that you're doing. You are, might actually start even moving differently. Maybe you will start to move in a more graceful way. You will start conducting yourself in a more lovely way. So these are things that maybe we haven't put a lot of thought into, but start dressing up every day and you will see all the many changes that happen. Maybe even your husband will start to take notice of this. Maybe your children will. And wouldn't it be nice to give them such lovely memories of us um, doing our best every day, presenting ourselves in, the, in this lovely way? And then I also want to note here that this list of six items is not what I would consider the morning routine. I think a morning routine, it is unique to every lady. And I almost feel like dressing up is the cherry on top to your morning routine. So whatever things that you want to do in the morning that don't have to do with housework, don't have to do with making your bed, all of that that I shared in here, those are the things that would be part of your morning routine to get yourself ready for the day. Um, and just to prepare your mind, to prepare your heart, all of that. Part of that is putting on love every day. So not only are we dressing up, but we're dressing up our heart as well. So that's part of that morning routine that we would do. So in a lot of these things that I've shared in here about you know all of these different points, they kind of mean more in addition to just what it says there. So you can consider dressing up to be part of the morning routine. And it really should be that last part that you, that cherry on top for your morning routine, that that's the way you're going to end it. You have focused on, you know, your soul and building that and whether it's praying, journaling, um, reading scripture, things like that. Those are, those are the exercise. Those are some things that I have in my morning routine. And the end of it is always to dress up because then I feel like a complete, you know, just I've completed things. I've completed that process of my morning routine when I have finally dressed up for the day. I feel like I'm ready to present myself to anybody and everybody who may come my way that day. I feel really good about myself and just the way that I'm carrying myself. And I also want to note here that when I think of who I'm really inspired by, who's inspired me over the years, the women that I look to, you know, those good examples, they are women that were doing this every day consistently. It wasn't just something that they did on a Sunday morning. It wasn't just something that they, you know, focused on once in a while, maybe for a wedding or a date night. It was something, a way that they presented themselves every day because this kind of showed me the competence that they had within their life. And whether or not one wants to admit that, that is what our brain automatically goes to. It jumps to that. It says that a person who is able to get themselves to this point in a day, early on, hopefully in the morning, she's able to handle a lot of other things as well. So I'm not saying that this should be something that, you know, we focus so much on and that it's one of the only things that we think about, but it should be something that we think about every day. We've all seen those that are very consumed with themselves and just the way that they look and everything like that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that this should consume the majority of your thoughts and constantly looking in the mirror and, you know, primping and all of that. I'm not saying that at all. 
I, for myself, I know I spend a little bit of time doing this. Try, I've perfected a routine that is very easy for me, doesn't take a lot of time with makeup, with obviously getting dressed really doesn't take a lot of time. It's a one and done outfit pretty much every day. And then also hair for now, I just put set mine in rollers and then I'm able to get a lot of other things done while those set and then I just brush it out. It's just something easy that I have figured out what to do but that still makes me feel and look pulled together. And then maybe before my husband comes home in the day, I will take some time to just freshen up and, you know, once again, to feel my best, maybe spray a little perfume on, you know, those things that we do to not only think of, you know, ourselves and the way that we're presenting ourselves, but it also helps us to think of someone else. So just know that when you are doing this, when you are making this effort, you're not only thinking about how you feel and you know the, just the way that you like to present yourself, but you're also thinking about how it will affect someone else as well. So those are the things that I wanted to share with you today when it came to dressing up. Of course, it was really hard to think about you know just what to share because I have so much to say on the subject, but I have many other videos that I speak so much about all of that. And um, I also have so much that I have written about when it comes to that as well. So if you haven't picked up your Lady of the House Inspirations Volume 1 book yet, I really hope that you will. And for those of you who have, I just want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you so much for your support in the writings that I have put together. They are a compilation of the many newsletters that I have written over some time now. Um, they are not all of the newsletters that I have, but that is just the format of it. And then for those of you who have also purchased your Lady of the House Life book, thank you for that as well. I am just blown away by the support that so many of you have given me in this endeavor and um, you know just the continued support that I have received with all of the wonderful comments um, just the outpouring of love it really does mean so much to me so a really big thank you to all of you who have such encouraging things to say to me so thank you so much for being here with me today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Mm -hmm.